Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place Tales of Berseria. I decided to meet you guys back up top because, well, we've already been through this dungeon twice and we only seemingly need to go through one door to get to the next area and get this red herb over here. I'm assuming that I just missed this earlier and that it's not a respawn because... Or maybe we actually couldn't even get down to this this room before. Because um, <clears throat> I don't think I would, I would miss a red herb. Or these runners high, which I actually think we were looking for an extra pair of those earlier. I could be mistaken about that. Right, you actually mastered some boots, didn't you? And I totally forgot. Here, you can have this one. I think that's the lowest one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you have runners high on. Yep, alright. Dude, Eisen, what the hell happened? Here, you can get uh, this two... Uh, blob ring, there we go. How did I... How long has that been a thing? Hopefully not long. That, that was a that was a mistake of mine. That was a big mistake of mine. I should not have let that go on for however long. Volcanic Mount Killer Ass. It's only a bit further to the town of Mercio. And once we're past Mercio, we'll find our destiny on Mount Killeros. I know it's supposed to be cold here. But I didn't think it would be this cold. Reviving the elemental Empyreans is bound to alter this weather. Huh. I'm not sure how much warmer it'll get in a time we'll still be alive. Keep moving. The cold and the climb don't matter. They kind of matter. We have to move forward. I mean, we, we do have some humans on our until side. the elemental Empyreans have been revived. Speaking of which... Nope, nothing new yet. Alright, so there is supposed to be another code red on this area. Um, and maybe potentially even new and flame chips up here, really. And yeah, these guys are definitely newish. We got some armadillos, we got some boars, we got some ghosts. Let's start with this guy. Freezillo, huh? What level are you guys? 62? That shouldn't be too bad. We, we faced worse, that's for sure. A wind attack? Interesting. I don't know if that actually is wind elemental. I know it seems like a wind elemental. Stop hitting me. Oh yeah, I should probably get that charge up, huh? Ooh, that was a good one. Yeah, these guys I'm not too, too worried about. I do wish I had the item drop stuff on. And not just the learning stuff. The item drops kind of what... Gave us all our good equipment earlier. Now we're just kind of having to buy it. Oh, yeah, there's also the Mithril Doll that we got. We haven't checked that out yet, but... I mean, I think Lobbyset has, uh... Some dolls he has to actually learn from still. So that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. What's the grade? Two? And the Stone Cold Killer achievement has been unlocked. I'm guessing that's the amount of enemies we've killed. <laughs> I'm gonna assume. Last belt. All right. Let's check out that doll while we're here. Also, when I met Love, said I met Magilu. 480, 10% versus dragons. She's got a little bit more on this one, and then uh, she switches over to this one. But she has a lot, a lot to go through. Why are we doing that one? Oh, because it had the equipment skill learning rate. All right, and then we'll go back to uh, the one, this one. Yeah, oh, we never used that herb, did we? Thank you very much. All right, who's next? Um, not you, because you noticed me. No, the boar noticed me. That's a shame. I want to get a nice surprise encounter. We will need to be wild boars. I mean. They look a lot more threatening than the boars we fought in the past. They look more demonic <laughs> than the boars we fought in the past. Which I guess makes sense. They're kind of cool looking. Don't seem to do that much damage though. I also totally hit the wrong button. I wanted to do the claw earlier. And then just switch targets. I mean, it works. Yeah, let's uh, see if this finishes them off. It's 1.25 damage, so I'm assuming it will. Crushed. 
All right. My spear can cut a path through anything. Seriously? Oh, smash that wall! <laughs> I don't think walls count. So you can only handle small ones? I can't break through walls. I mean, I'm sure if you hit it hard enough, you could. Cortez boots? That's good. I think we needed a pair of those, didn't we? Maybe. No one mastered anything. There was a title change. Right, 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 right. Now we got the ghost ladies, apparently, we gotta worry about. <clears throat> and this... What is this? It's a wolf? Wolf's on my ass, actually. Winter Wolf. Almost like the Winter Soldier, but a lot more wolfy. Use the claw, man. You. Ooh, Roku, you should probably not be stunned, dog. At least this wolf's coming after me and not you. Because, yeah, these wolves will kill you. Well, anything will kill you if you are stunned, because they do a crap ton of damage when you are stunned. It's like double the damage. I don't think it's like no defense damage, but it's definitely double the damage. At least these guys aren't too, too bad. I mean, those Malakim we fought yes, back yes, in the, uh, the villa, incredible. they, uh, ooh, nice. That was a decent amount of stuff we just freaking mastered. Yeah, the, the, uh, the ladies we fought in the villa, those guys kicked the crap out of us. I mean, one-on-one -on -one was fine, but I was kind of worried that that was going to be a trend, the, the level 72 stuff going forward. So we got, actually, we have a lot of Cortez boots. Which is good for you. Let's do this one. You just finished that, so let's come down and do this one. I love the face on that. You're good, you're good, you're good. No, 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 I saw... There was three, right? Yeah, there was. You can have uh, sharp edge papers? Is that your lowest? This is 204. 294. Alright, this one it is. I don't know how we missed that. Some red lavender. Delicious, delicious red lavender. Let's... No, we already fought that guy. That guy's new. It's a moving guillotine. Guillotine. Thing. That's weird. Are we ready for this? Executioner. Oh man, you guys are like weird. You haven't seen these types of enemies in a while since um, the fortress we took over. Like one of the few ones, the first ones we took over, where we had the stuttering cutscene, which was annoying as all sin. Oh, you slowed me? Yeah, that's not a good idea, dog. Cause I ain't going anywhere. I'm just here to kill you, and you're dead now. I would love to use my claw, though. There we go. Ice attack, probably not a very good uh, choice of elemental attack here. Ooh! It's the good one. Good job. Did you see my complete and utter victory? Yeah, it was complete and utter victory. Now we get one more. Well, we got a chest over there, but we get the ghosts we get to fight. That look. They look very similar to the ones we fought back in uh, the Earth Pulse. But they might be different. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a soul. Ready, steady, go. Are we ready Spectre. For this? That is actually the thing we fought back in the Earth Pulse. <laughs> oh well. I mean, whatever, that's fine. That boar really wants a piece? That boar is dumb. Ooh, new one. Gets style. Aaron. One down. Dope. That's the first time I saw that, that's for sure. Then again, I'm actually pretty awful at getting the, uh, the, the advanced Mystic Arts to go up. I, I mean, I know it's only supposed to happen when you, um, you aren't getting guarded against. Which is why I kind of aim to always have uh, the enemy stunned. Aside from the extra damage. The stunned helps them not block my attack. I had no problems here. So that's always good to have. Sadly, I'm just bad. <laughs> I'm just bad and it just doesn't go through sometimes. That was a good good amount of grade and I think everyone gained a level or close to level. 
I have a feeling my, uh, well, at this point, it's kind of intentionally keeping my levels low, <laughs> is uh, going to come back to bite me hard in the future. Man. Y'all just uh, hanging out down there? That's that's dope. Nothing new, but there are some chests. There's also a chest down there. Also a... Is that a shop? It looks like a minigame icon. Expedition return, that's good. Oh right, we're going to a town! Well, before we actually go through that town... Let's come over and get this stuff. It is a mini game guy. That's weird. I'm not gonna fish. Item exchange. Not yet, anyways. Exercise uniform. I have enough to buy it. Well, let's buy it. Because why not? I'm not gonna use it for anything else. Bienfu hat. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, we could have totally... That's a lot of Tails coins for not not that useful stuff. Jesus Christ. Okay, first and first. Exodison. Nothing new. No way. Here. No. There. Not you. Over there. There we go. Exorcist? Yo, dog! I like it. We'll keep that on for a little bit. That actually looks rather dope. There's a bronze chest over there. I'm not too concerned about that one. I want the gold chest, though. Could be good. It's not a gold chest. It's a silver chest. It is a mithril waistcoat. So it was good. Actually, was it good? <laughs> you just started this. That's fine. Maximum HD plus 50. That's actually really good. Uh, Defense-wise and uh, HP-wise... I mean, it is 50. Um, not that great random skills. The, the you know, the against wing foes plus 8% is pretty good. The non-elemental damage attack plus 4%. It's rather low. And I like on Lobby Set and Aizen, I don't think they have much non-elemental attacks. Roku might be, have some, but we'll worry about that in the future. Should I go for that bronze chest? Bronze chests are usually trash. And by trash, I mean useful consumable items or money. Um, so yeah, let's go grab it. 10,000 gold. Gold. Um, I'm assuming this place has a additional part because there is supposed to be a code red somewhere around, right? Yeah. Let's use this first. Or cut. Get this, this cutscene. Yeah? Is this Mercio? Three days on watch with no sleep. You should probably get some sleep. Ten freaking minutes late. It's not like the mine is gonna fall apart. Hey, uh. Sure, whatever. If you got business here, go on in. He seems yeah, moody. We'll do that. <laughs> They'll pay for this. He's gonna become a demon, isn't he? All right, in we go. Nice lamp. Thought it was floating there for a minute. Wow. I didn't know so many people lived up here on the northern edge of the world. This town was built around the mining of flamestone, which can only be found here on Mount Killaraus. So Explains if anything why we can happens find to it. the volcano, this town's scarooed. So releasing the two souls here will surely destroy the town. Oh, yeah. Inhuman, human, aren't I? Curse me all you want. I have no right to. The Abbey has proven itself just as heartless. People living here must have the will to endure the cold, to fight back against this pitiless environment. I'd rather have that strength than feel nothing in the face of my troubles and pain. Agreed. A life without feeling is a box of stupid. Yes, a vast container of... Uh, of stupid. Right. The question is, can we wake up all four elemental Empyreans with the souls Velvet has absorbed? If Inominat's revival and the Empyrean slumber are related, we should assume we need all four Empyreans to stop him. I think I'll only be able to wake two. There are only two souls left inside of me. Teresa's and Oscar's. Are you sure? Yes. I can tell. What happened to the other ones? Two Empyreans will be enough to fight him. 
This is my responsibility. I know Siri's kind of like... I offer my own soul... Well, if we don't have enough, left. let's knock on Shigure's door. His soul would make a fine sacrifice. Old man Melky or two. His heart's as cold as a witch's teat, but he's free of malevolence. Witch's teat? You're truly teat. ready to take on two leggets at once? Magilu, what does that ready. say about you, so girl? sit back and ignore us anyway. And with Artorius and Inomi not all tied up with their suppression party, this is the perfect chance to take them out. Okay. <sighs> Acting with caution is... a box of stupid, I take it? <laughs> now you're catching on. All right. Leave it to me. Do we know where to find them? We got some skits. So, I'm all stoked for the god waking, but what's the plan? The road to the volcano is on the other side of town. Let's start by taking a quick look around. Buy some new weapons, talk to these skits. The gatekeeper, he wasn't mean to you. Oh, he was, was he? pissed. He was pretty angry about being forced to watch the gate, but he let us pass through no problem. I know that being forced to be on watch for three days straight is excessively harsh, but still. He wandered here from another town one day. He barely ever does any work and has a habit of pilfering things. He skipped out on his duties in the flamestone mines, and while we were busy working, he was sneaking into our empty houses to steal things. So why that's why you made him stand at the edge free? of the village. Yeah. We're bringing him food, of course. We told him that if he doesn't like it, he can leave. Still, is he actually accomplishing anything out there? He may be bold enough to rob us, but he's a real coward. If a demon showed up, he'd shut the gates and come running. He or doesn't turn have into anywhere a demon. else to go, so we're hoping that eventually he'll realize the error of his ways. Or die. If you keep forcing him to stand out there in the cold, he might find another place to go. The afterlife. Uh, the punishments here are harsh, but that's for the best since this is a harp. Just kick him out! If we don't put our all into helping each other out, we won't survive. I want everyone to understand that. Everyone is ready to lend a hand. That's the Mercio way of life, and I'm proud of it. Yeah, he is, like, probably gonna, gonna like, become a demon and just, like, rage through this town. Again, I wouldn't blame him, even though Have he is a thief. rumors about the Lord of Calamity? No. What rumors? That deadly demon whose rampage began in Helovis. The Abbey finally got her. Oh, thank I God. that she bites anyone who meets her gaze. That she devours humans as a snack. Yeah. And that she has the head of a wolf. I was terrified that one's a little what might off. happen if she showed up here. Now, I can finally rest easy, knowing that she's gone. Yeah. You wouldn't want to get bitten, that's for sure. I know. I'm so relieved. <laughs> I don't want a demon to kill me. I know. Definitely not. In fact, if you ever meet one, you should run. Fast. Yeah, so, like, start running? All right, next skit. Mercio has been getting colder every year. We used to have a spring and summer, short though they were. Now we're the town of eternal winter. It sounds like a tough place to live. Still, flamestone is used for more than just heating. People all over the world need it, you know. That's why no matter how tough it gets, we keep on with our lives here while holding pride in our work. No matter how cold it gets, this place is our home. The warmth inside our hearts can keep the chill away. I don't think that's so how that works. Is warm then, in body and soul. Oh, I like the way you talk. Make sure to take a dip in our hot spring before Ooh, you leave. Ooh, oh, that's happening. The water is scalding hot, so put some snow in to lower the temperature. Snow in the tub. Got it? All right. Well, that's definitely gonna have to take place. Uh, Tales games are always good for hot place. springs. Skits. You sure it isn't just the snow? But doesn't it look pure and beautiful? Well. I think it's pretty, too. That doesn't guarantee the citizens will be. <sighs> Not you too, Aizen. Well, they're kind enough to let a shirker stand out in the cold for three days. He might have been up to no good. Every town has sunny spots and shadows. I'm well aware of that. I mean, we already talked to the guy about this that. This discussion isn't leading anywhere. We'll know once we go see for ourselves. Just think of it like your old job. Investigate and find the truth. Yes. I believe I shall. Also, is anyone in this town going to ask why and how Velvet is dressed like this and is totally okay? Or Magilu, though Magilu seems like she's actually freezing her ass off, so that's kind of hilarious. Um, there's two places we need to go. That looks like a shrine? And that's on the high ground. No, low ground? Yes, ground. I don't know, ground. 
We can't actually leave to the west, though we can go up. Let's go to the inn first, and... No, I want to go down there. Why can't I go down there? There. I can jump? Ooh. Neat. Kind of out of the way for only, like, five souls, but neat. Okay, right, give me my money for killing that broken Malak. Thank you. That was actually, that's a decent amount of money. Um, should we stop by the store first? Right, that's not going to show. So let's go to the inn first, see if there's any skits there. Then... We'll, uh... We should go to the bottom half, huh? Okay. I guess she has a romantic night coming up. Oh, oh, so, you know what? That's probably not a sanctuary down, uh... Or up, down or up. I don't know which way is which. But that's probably the hut spring. And a red herb. I see you, baby. Shaking that thing. Thank you very much. Does this lead down? No, that leads... Well, it leads down, but... Not up. Guess we gotta go through the star to get there. That's fine. Let's check the shop first. Let's see. We need three more life bottles. We need... Jesus Christ. 84,000? A little much. You sell mithril gear here. That's cool. That's expensive, but that's cool. Um, man. I cannot afford. I cannot afford, like, any of this. I mean, I can afford a little bit. Not the talisman, Jesus. We don't have a Topaz Talisman yet. Okay, I'll buy a Mithril Blade, because she's very good at mastering her stuff. And then Topaz Talisman and a Topaz Doll. We can't afford it. You know what? We'll worry about that in the future. Now I know where to buy Mithril stuff. You alright over there? There are demons in town! Ah! Everyone, run away! But I want to out. What happened to the gate watch? He probably ran or turned, into a, turned into a yeah, demon. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> called it. Mommy. Oh, that kid. Mommy. That kid is dead. Ah! Now's your chance. Run. Sorry, but you're going to help me. Yeah. I don't know how. Executioner, we already fought you. We actually fought a bunch of you on the way over here. That's fine. You're, you're gonna you're gonna die now, Mr. Coldman. I actually feel sorry for you. Even though you were a thief, they did kind of leave you out there to die. Well, not die, but to suffer. And they should really know better by now that he will turn into demons. And you probably shouldn't shouldn't allow that. Mithril gear. I have a message for the Abbey's legates. All the mithril gear. On the next Scarlet Night, I will offer a sacrifice to Mount Killerhouse and strip Enominot of his power. I dare them to try and stop me! She just ate the demon with her arm. She, she's... She's awesome! I am corruption made flesh, velvet, the lord of calamity. <laughs> Roar! <It's her. laughs> this city is ours. Flee to the south, puny humans, while your tears stop the snow. Am I still gonna be able to buy mithril gear? Dark mistress sucks the marrow from your very bones. Good job, Magilu. Run for it! Yo, but still, mithril gear. <laughs> We should do this more often. It went well, except... Ow! What was that for? There will be no sucking of marrow. My sister taught me proper table manners. <laughs> oh, what a waste. The marrow's the tastiest part. 
Yeah, <laughs> sometimes. It is. At least now the citizens of Mercio won't be swept up in our fight. They already are. We just tore their homes and livelihoods away. We are assholes. This wasn't for them. This was to summon the legates here. That's all. Even so, I thank you for what you've done, O oh fearsome Lord of Calamity. I'll pretend I didn't hear that, O oh exalted Praetor of the Abbey. A whole crowd of people were fleeing south. What happened? Why are you ben here? Went. Why are you here? Yeah! I had a delivery for the first mate. <laughs> Kurogane and Kamoana are here too. You brought Kamoana? She absolutely insisted on following me. Poor kid said she had a dream that you died, Eleanor. Kamoana. How long do we have until Shigure and the others get here? Hmm. Given the distance, my guess is they won't show up until the Scarlet Night. That is convenient. But I think I'll make use of that time. Kurogane wanted me for something, I take it? Aye, that's what he said. All right, then. Everyone go rest up. Can I go to the Good hot spring? Idea. We've got a battle to prepare for. This may be the last breather we get. As always, better make sure you leave no regrets. Oh, is this... Is that the warning? No turning Fee, back now? Anything could happen. Don't leave town. Can I... Can I stay with you, Velvet? I don't mind, but... You sure? Yeah. Do what you like, then. That's not that much experience. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's still people here. There's still shops. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. We can't leave, so I'm kind of... Well, fuck for money. But then... How are we doing on skits? I believe there's a star up there, so I'm guessing that's part of the town. Can oh, we can't go to... The, the thing... There's a star down there, and the star up there, and a star over there. Alright, so it's star time. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head over to my video section, check out some of the content, and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.